shadows of the Trinity San Sergio's Lavra loom up surrounded by impregnable fortress walls. The Lavra is one of the most revered monasteries in Russia and a unique historical monument. Now we'll tell you about Saint Sergius of Randonnes, who was born from 1314 in the uh, town on Rostov from pious uh, parents called Kirillos and Maria. The gods, seeing this uh, um, wonder, wonder uh, advance of the child in uh, wisdom and in respect and uh, in the holiness, he chose him as his deacon uh, from the ma from his mother's womb. So before the saint was born, the next uh, the next miracle happened. One of the, of the Sundays, his mother, who was pregnant, uh, was with uh, was into the church and participated in the same, in the holy liturgy with other uh, people too with other pious people too suddenly he is sees uh she as she was hearing the um the reading of the bible the the, the baby inside her womb called called out loud the 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 voice was heard by many people, and especially by women who were near Maria. At the time of uh, uh, the psalm of, for, the, uh, for the angels, the baby moved, uh, called again. And when, and when the, the, the father of uh, the, the Holy Liturgy, uh, the priest, came uh, to uh, say out loud, loud Giving, uh, he said that loud giving the holy to the holies, uh, the holy people, the baby called for the third time. Everybody understood that uh, the person who would come from that womb, the, the little baby inside, would be a great saint. Uh, it was a lie. It would be a light of the world and servant of the Holy Trinity. Uh, some people say that he was uh, uh, was into the liturgy with an angel. Some day, Saint Sergius was uh, uh, into the liturgy with his brother, Father Stephanos, and his nephew, Father Theodoros. Suddenly, the monk, Father uh, Isaacius, says in that uh, he saw in the temple a fourth priest with uh, gowns that were lighting uh, as, as the, uh, the sun itself. In the little coming of uh, uh, the gospel, the person who was with uh, the saint and was uh, be, uh, uh, after the saint, coming, uh, having a face so light that Father Sarkis could not uh, at it, they couldn't see it. Full of surprise, he opened his lips and asked his uh, the guy near him, Father Macarius. He said, "What a wonderful uh, thing is! What is that, Father? Who could be that uh, priest who is so full of light?" Father Macarius, who was very righteous, uh, he uh, was able to see the same vision. And he asked. He answered, "I do not know him. I sent a surprise too. Maybe uh, there was a priest coming with Prince Vladimir. Sent, uh, Prince Vladimir Andreyevich was in that uh, that time in the temple with his uh, uh, rich people. The monks asked a lord who could be uh, if they had." A priest with them, he answered negatively. Then they understood that what was uh, into the holy liturgy with the saint was an angel of God. In the end of the, the divine liturgy, 
the two fathers went toward to their um, head of monks and asked him about it. In the beginning, he uh, tried to hide the truth. What uh, the unusual was that that you saw? We were uh, in the liturgy, Father Seraphim, Father Theodorus, and I, the sinner. They, they insisted, and they started uh, pleading him to tell them. My children, he said, if the Lord revealed to you something, how can I be able to hide it from you? What you saw was an angel of God, and not only now, but always, in all the liturgies, he is in the liturgy with me. Guard what you saw and don't tell anybody uh, until I die. That, it was, that is from Archbishop Timotheus San Sergios of Randones, pages uh, 61 to 63. Now we're going to the, the second miracle of Father Sergius. How deeply humiliating person was, was how deeply simple person he was. San Sergius was always dressed Fully. That's why nobody recognized him, not even uh, the visitors. Some peasant from a near from a, a, a village far away said that he had a lot of bad things, so he wished to come and see him. He came into the monastery and started asking where he could meet the saint. They told him that he was in the garden. So he went to the garden and saw a very simple monk uh, digging the earth, dressed as with uh, a gown full of patches. The peasant skipped. <laughs> the peasant thought that they lied to him so that he wouldn't meet the saint. He was waiting to see uh, uh, the, the first of the monks very dearly, very wonderfully dressed into the glory and uh, honor. So he came back to the monastery and asked, uh, again, uh, uh, asked uh, calling them again and pleading them, please tell me where the, where the holy man is. I came to bow to him ever since I'm uh, very, very, very far away and I would like to see him. The brothers answered him, the one you saw in the garden is our Holy Father. The peasant was uh, un unable to express his sorrow. He thought that they didn't want to, so, uh, to tell him whether the Holy Father was. He was so upset. When the, uh, the Holy Father came to um, the garden and went to the monastery, came from the garden and went into the monastery, he turned his face other other way, other place, in other place, so that he wouldn't see him. I been to such a great trouble, such a great trouble, he said, to come here to see the saint. And what happened? Nothing. That he that was in his um into his mouth all the time. And he said, I came here to see a glorious prophet. And now what I see is a poor and uh, a poor and badly dressed monk. The enlightened Osh, um, the saint read his thinking. And with all his heart, he thanked the Lord for all he had seen by the, that a uh, person who was full of glory, honoring uh, and giving uh, and giving pleasure for the honors and the um, scriptures and the good things that he and that he took, even though that he was so humble and started to say hello, said uh, starting to. Uh, 
be uh, humble and started to uh, be uh, thankful for the sorrows and the humiliation. Um, but sympathizing that uh, the, the pure, the, the simple peasant who was near him uh, called him by his, by his side and offered him food and told him gracefully, don't be sorry, brother, in a few minutes you will um, meet that who so much wish to see. As soon as this, uh, the Lord, the, the whole Lord told him about this, told him these uh, things, one of the messengers came and reported the coming of uh, the, the coming of uh, was the coming of the prince of uh, the, the Holy Land, of that land. The, the saint was got up and got, uh, and get, uh, got out to uh, pay homage to the honorable guest and uh, uh, invited him to come into the monastery. And came that, uh, that prince came with a lot of people. The prince, seeing the priest, uh, the prince, seeing the, the first of the monks for the first time, he put uh, a very big bow in front of him and asking humbly for his blessing. The uh, Holy Father uh, gave blessings to the prince and his uh, honor and the people near him and uh, with honor he was led uh, to the um, inside of the monastery. They sat one by, by, by another and asking and um, and asking, discussing well all the others, the others became silent. The peasant could not believe his eyes. He who he had come so far away to see And uh, he was in front of him. He who, with all that pious respect, uh, came to see, bowed in front of him, and the prince also bowed in front of him uh, the, the, uh, to the same person that he has seen the first time, who was the monk with the uh, destroyed uh, gown. And he himself despised and didn't want to be stopped. Uh, it, they didn't want to face him. He came by slowly, by slowly, slowly, and this fans uh, to the questions. Brother, who's that who's sitting by your side? Who was sitting by your side, uh, Prince? Uh, are you are you a foreigner and you don't know uh, the Holy Father? He is the leader of the man of the monastery called Serius. I, I am truly blind, he thought, and I didn't recognize the the, uh, the good father. And uh, he was all saying bad things to himself. That peasant. He came uh, closer and full of shame for his own uh, um, self, he um, came same for the in himself because he couldn't recognize the the serious with him. Uh, he came uh, closer with a lot of uh, um, shame to closer to the saint and bowing in front of him asked him to be apologized because he didn't dare uh, didn't dare uh, he, he was saying bad things about uh, he was uh, saying bad things about himself because he couldn't understand he couldn't recognize the saint he came later full of uh, a shame and uh, uh, that was that also happened uh, about uh, bowing to him. Uh, he came 
with uh, shame and bowed in front of the saint and asked for forgiveness for his um, upcoming uh, uh, position and upcoming uh, reaction towards the, the holy man. He gave him parity and told him, he encouraged him and told him, uh, do not be feared and do not be sad. One day, be, uh, be very happy because you are the only one who, told, who thought correctly about me. The others are very um, Now I'll read you how humble St. Sergius was. St. Sergius was always dressed poorly. That's why nobody recognized him, not even the, the visitors. A peasant who came from a faraway village had a lot about him and wanted to see the saint. He wanted to go and see him. He came to the monastery and began asking where would he would meet the saint. They told him that he was in the garden. He went to the garden and saw a very simple monk digging the earth dressed in a gown full of patches. The peasant th uh, thought that they lied to him. He, went, he waited to see uh, a very smartly dressed monk, head of monk, head of monks, among glory and honor. He came back <coughs> to the monastery and started pleading about seeing the saint. Please tell me where the Lord is, where the holy man is. I came for so far away so that I could meet him, and I want to see him and um, bow to him. The, the others responded. The one you saw in the garden is the, the, our holy father. The peasant was uh, un unable to be comforted. He was so sad that um, when uh, that when the saint came back from <coughs> the garden and went into the monastery, he turned his face other way, other way, uh, elsewhere, so that he wouldn't see him. I made so much trouble coming up here. He was thinking, do you see a glorious um, prophet? And now I can see a very poor and badly dressed monk. The enlightened uh, saint read his um, thinking of this peasant and with all his heart he thanked the Lord because as much as uh, the a uh, person who likes glory is uh, glad about the honors and uh, the praises that everybody gives him as much as the humble person is glad in the sorrows and into the humiliation. Uh, but liking this simple peasant, he called him uh, beside him and offered him food and told him with grace. Please don't be so, sorry, brother, because in a little while you will meet the one who, whom you uh, so much wish to see. As soon as the saint said these things, uh, a messenger came and uh, said that uh, in the monastery uh, came the prince of the, the place there, the, the saint got up and uh, got and get out to uh, uh, um, welcome the honorable guest and uh, who came with a big uh, escort of other people. The prince, seeing the holy father, uh, put a bow in front of him and asking humbly for his blessing. The holy person um, gave blessing to the prince, and with honor he led him to the inside of the monastery. They sat uh, uh, one by the other, simply uh, near one by the other, and sat discussing, while all the other escorts were 
were upright. The peasant could not believe his eyes. He who, uh, with all that respect, came to see uh, and bowed in front of him was the prince, and um, the prince was bowing in front of the monk, with whom he despised and didn't want to speak. He went um, slowly and humbly uh, near them and asked, uh, near and asked somebody, Brother, who's that who's sitting next to the prince? Are you foreign and you don't know him? This is the, the first of the monks. The monks here called Sergius. I was really blinded and didn't recognize the old person. He was saying bad things about himself, that peasant. Na later on, he um, came near to the saint with full of um, shame and putting a bow in front of him, asked him for forgiveness for his first uh, um, position, for his first thought. He encouraged him and said, Please don't be sorry. Be very glad because you are the only person who thought uh, right about me. The others are in a, a, a big confusion, thinking that, uh, that I am something be very big. The saint was very happy uh, more for uh, the, the peasants this uh, despise to him than the, than uh, for the Lord's honors. The peasant again so much impressed about the humble um, thinking of that uh, of that uh, saint uh, person that that saint that later on went again to the monastery and became a nun. The monk. Uh, this is from uh, Archbishop Timotheus St. Sergius of Randonese, pages 52 to 54. The next, uh, the next miracle of St. Sergius of Randonese. The Lord uh, gave to, the, to his uh, servant Sergius of Randonese something very unusual, something very miracle, miraculous power. He sat, um, someday he made him, uh, he uh, uh, made, he uh, gave resurrection to a dead person. In the villages of the monastery, there was someone who had a very big respect and faith to the saints. His only son, was uh, sick from very uh, unbearable sickness and, and a sickness that uh, he couldn't become well again with uh, uh, the, the thinking, with the uh, uh, dissipation of uh, uh, um, becoming well again. He came to uh, ask for the saint for his help, bringing the sick person with him. But from all these uh, bad things that happened in the street and all those um, uh, and all that street that, that they had to walk to, the, his child died. No, oh, he lost every faith, and the father of the child began to mourn and crying and saying to the saint. Mm, uh, oh, to me, oh my God, how ha how happy I am. I came here thinking and being sure that you would be helping me, but my only child died in the street. I wish I would never come to you because uh, my faith wouldn't be so, uh, so uh, hit, so um, being... Uh, I wouldn't be so unbelievable towards you. So with tears and cries and um, all this sadness, that, that uh, terrible, that dear father went to, fi to find a coffin and uh, some, um, uh, some cloth to put, uh, to put to his child for the funeral. 
the saint was so so sorry about him and uh, he started to, to pray fiercely and then he resurrected the child when uh, that terrible father that uh, that father was so shocked in his heart uh, by suddenness he came uh, carrying the necessary for the child's funeral the, the saint told him please don't be uh, so tired and don't and don't cry so much you don't have to because your child is not alive is not dead but he's alive his father that father who had by himself seeing that his son was dead could not believe the saint, the, the words of the saint he came closer and he was um, he was uh, uh, could believe about the child, could believe that his child was alive, and could believe the words of the saint. He came closer, and he found that by miracle, his son was alive, and he started crying out loud from happiness and and joy, and he was thanking the saint. This also comes from the Archbishop of Timothy, a book, St. Sergius of Randonese, pages 49 to 51. Now, now this is the end of St. Sergius of Randonese.